Okay guys, this is the America table. The long awaited America table. All right, check this out. So the thing I like best about these tables is you can lock the whole table with one key. So nothing opens until this, un this key opens it. So you reach under here, there's a little lever. You see the little, eye, the little keyhole down there? You unlock that, uh, if I can get it in there. Unlock that. And then you reach down here, there's the knot. You push the knot, lever falls down, turn the lever, top pops up. Um, you've got the Second Amendment, or at least most of the Second Amendment written right there. You've got your hidden com or your uh, concealed weapon holsters. You can take those off, put them on. At the end of the day, a good place to hold them. Um, and then, so the guy I built this table for wanted a safe inside of his table, a small safe so he can keep small valuables. So I put one here. I don't have it locked right now, um, but that opens. And there's a little safe inside of there. You got your little drawers. That's the key that goes to this compartment, or this little lockbox here. So, my little lockbox, there's nothing in there right now. But, and then you got, you know, your other little drawers. Keep your valuables in there and whatnot. Um, and then while I was building this table, I realized that I had an empty space. And I never leave an empty space without putting it in the compartment. So, underneath here, I had an empty space, so I put a little compartment you can store guns or anything the cool thing about it is that while this is closed and locked you can't open this top and i built it strong enough you can stand on but it's locked when it's locked it's locked but then it's cool because then you can anyways it's part of the safe so uh, let's see what's next okay this other side if you turn this brace uh, that opens this side. It's got a little lock here. And I've got my Western pistol here because it's fun. Um, so you got some storage space. You can put a gun cleaning kit. You can put some ammo. I don't know what you want to put there. And then in this empty space, I found out this guy really likes to play poker with his buddies. So I added a poker set. Um, I really had a lot of fun putting the resin in here. Just put it in all the little cracks and stuff because resin's awesome. And then I have my little logo here with the David Lindell. That's the lucky rooster. Um, and then, oh, let's see. There's another compartment here. So you lift up here, that door comes off. Um, if you push right here, that flips open. There's a knife in there. This knife, my brother actually built this knife. Um, it's really cool and it's sharp as heck. I've cut myself on it once already. Um, that's like a razor blade right there. But if you're interested in a knife, I'll give you his information. Um, he is freaking awesome. Built awesome knives. Um, oh, so this lever right here, flip that lever up. Oops. Okay. You pull that lever forward, and right here, a compartment opens. And you can have a drink in there Ooh, with your shot glasses. Um, holds two bottles. So pretty awesome how did you get into building the hidden compartment tables so i got started building hidden compartments when i was at college at weaver state i watched the movie national treasure and they had the resolute desks where the drawers you have to open them they have number anyways it was like a combination and I, I just like fell in love with the idea of it so i started building it up there and i've just gradually gotten more complicated with my builds and this is like my 15th table, maybe 20th table. I don't know, it's somewhere in there. What so, does a table like this cost? I get that question a lot. And it's a really hard answer because every table takes a different amount of time. So it depends on time and material. Those are the two factors. So the best way to answer that is whatever table you're interested in, shoot me an email at David, L David at luckyroosterco.com and I can give you a quote. Tell me what you're looking for, tell me what you want it to look like, which table you like the best, you know. Whatever your ideas are to have in the table, um, let me know and I'll shoot you a quote and maybe we can work out a deal, so. Where'd you get the ideas for this table? This table, so John, my friend John, has been wanting a table for quite a while now. 
and he just recently messaged me and was like, well, about a month ago. I've got about two hour, 200 hours into this table. So about a month ago, he messaged me and was like, dude, I gotta have a table. And he told me all the things he wanted to have in it. And I was like, all right, let's see what we can do. And this is, this is what happened when all those ideas came together, so. And what are your plans for future projects? So I've got this wizard table I've been working on. Um, it's probably gonna be finished up here in the next couple weeks. Um, been doing a lot of etchings and carvings around it, been making ideas. All the pieces for it are up on top. Um, I've got a lot going into that table. That's my next table. And then after that, I've got a puzzle box that's supposed to look like a pirate chest. So I've got to build that. And then after that, I was really hoping, so my favorite author, um, Brandon Sanderson does these live signings where he will um, sit at his desk and sign, sign books basically and answer questions about his books. And I would love to build him a desk that's awesome, that has sort of like that with all of like pictures from his different books and stuff all the way around the it and secret compartments throughout the whole thing. Anyways, but I'm working on that. I haven't gotten a hold of him yet. That would, that would be my ultimate end of the year deal, but yeah. Anyways, oh, that's all I know. I got one piece. This is like the after. It has coasters. Look, they've got little um, magnets on them, so they stick underneath. So anyways, there's five of them along here. And they have a little magnetic strip that they go onto. So. Anyways, coasters for the table. <laughs> I forgot that part. <laughs>